Welcome to lesson eight. In lesson eight, we're going to create your behavior rules. This isn't a real complex process. We're going to have to set some things up in Active Campaign. And basically, the way all of this works is when a person purchases in Thrivecart, a tag is added to their account in Active Campaign. And that tag in Active Campaign is going to be sent through Zapier to Kajabi to give them access to your membership. Okay, so whatever products they purchased. And then when they cancel their membership in Thrivecart, the same process happens except that tag is removed. Okay, and then we're going to set up some other things uh, throughout the rest of this course because you're going to have to have an email list of, that where you can contact just your members. You're going to have to have an email list where you can contact people that are not members, so potential customers, potential members. All right, and then you're going to have tags for your non-members based on different things that they clicked on. And you can get as complex and crazy as this as you want. I can tell you in the beginning, you're not going to want to have a lot of tags and a lot of like uh, different lists and whatnot. You basically just want to keep it to non-members and members. And the same thing with the tag, member, non-member. And keep it as simple as possible until you learn how to use Active Campaign. And as you get more comfortable with those things, then you can start tagging in more detail so that you can retarget those people and send them things, whether it be through your email list or through Facebook ads or Pinterest ads or Instagram ads or TikTok ads or whatever you choose to use at YouTube. The way that you choose to retarget them is not important. What's important is that you send them relevant information that would make them want to join you inside your membership. So to become a member, all right? And we're going to talk about all those things too. Today, in this lesson, all we're going to set up are the tags inside of Active Campaign, And then we're also going to set those tags in Thrivecart so that they connect to the right things to make them operate the way we want them to operate. So meaning either make them a member or remove them from the membership, okay? So let's head over to Active Campaign, And the first thing that you're going to have to do is log in. And then at some point, your trial membership is going to expire. So it just depends on how long you take to finish all this. And once it expires, you're going to have to join uh, one of their membership levels based off of your your email list size and the things that we already talked about with Active Campaign. Okay, so let me go through some of the options right here. When you see this page, it's going to pop up when you log in. They have marketing, sales, and bundles. And you can do any of these will do what we need them to do. The main difference is how many people are you going to have on your email list day one? All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of these. If you go down here and click on see features for each plan tier, you'll notice there's a ton of stuff that we're just not going to use in the beginning. So there's a big difference between light and plus. And I can tell you, I have some companies on the plus plan and some on the professional. All of them started on the light plan because we do not need text message as a channel, right? We don't need this SMS. We just need email. The drag and drop email designer, um, that comes with everything. So we're good. Forms, we just need, we don't need any forms. We will create forms, but we don't need them because we're going to, our forms are going to be built inside of Kajabi and Optin Monster, WordPress, things like that. So we're not actually going to use their form builder. So this isn't even important. The mobile app is included in everything. Browser extension included in everything. Landing pages. We will not ever make landing pages inside of Active Campaign, So we don't need this. Custom Facebook audiences. We don't need this yet. You can do this when you get enough uh, potential customers. Your email list gets big enough that it makes sense for you to retarget those people. Facebook lead ads. Not important yet. We do do these two things. Okay. But we it, we didn't until we had a big enough email list that it made sense that we were actually able to use that data because Facebook has requirements for a minimum amount of customers or people that you want to retarget that are in a list when you put upload it into Facebook. And right now those just aren't going to be relevant for us. Unless you already have a big email list, then you're going to want to choose this plan to start. All right. Site messages don't need it. Marketing automation. Yep. Email automation, yep. SMS, we already talked about that. Uh, WooCommerce, don't need it. Shopify, don't need it. And again, if we choose to, if you choose to set up a Shopify course, which is what I would recommend over WooCommerce, if you do choose to sell things one-off and not just a membership, uh, it does integrate with Shopify. 
None of these things matter. We don't need any of these things at all. We need, in the campaign section, we need email campaigns, newsletters, so all this is good. We don't need any of this. We'll do those in other ways. Site tracking, it does all the stuff we need there. Revenue reports, again, we don't need this. This is being tracked in Thrivecart for now. None of that matters. API and webhooks comes with all of them. We already used that in some places. The custom account domain is not important right now. When you have a bigger list and you want to start getting creative with your email marketing, it, it can be, will be. We do use a custom domain. You can upgrade to those, right? Even the second tier plan, the plus plan comes with that. So not right now. It's not important, but eventually you're going to have to upgrade into this. Uh, custom branded forms and landing pages. We're not going to use any of those. No HIPAA stuff. We don't need any of that. We don't need SMS. So as you can see, for right now, the light plan works perfect for what we need it to do. And then we talked about the auto scale with active campaign. So if you ever go over your contact limit, they'll just automatically upgrade you to the next plan, which is great because you don't have to come back in and mess with all this stuff. It just automatically upgrades you. So how many contacts do you need? Um, in the beginning, you, you only need 500. Once you get to 500, it'll bump you to 1,000, right? And then so on and so forth. And by the time you get to, I would say, when you get to around between 1,000 and 2,500, then you can start actually connecting things to Facebook and retargeting potential customers on Facebook. So once you get in this range right here, customer-wise, you may want to upgrade to the plus plan. Uh, that, that's, that's when it starts to make more sense. And again, that's totally up to you. If you're marketing in other methods and not just using Facebook uh, lead ads and retargeting through Facebook, then it's not that big a deal, right? If you're using, like if your main source of traffic is YouTube or TikTok or something like that, then you may not need to update upgrade to Plus right away. But for me, because I do a lot of my marketing on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, like we're everywhere, we do use the plus plan or the professional plan because we want those extra little perks. Okay. We want to be able to upload our audiences into Facebook to try to retarget them and not just Facebook everywhere. Um, marketing. We're just going to start with the light plan. And as you can see with the pricing, the yearly is much better than the monthly. And when they auto scale you up into the next plan, they'll prorate it uh, based off of, you know, how many months are left in the year or whatever once you have to upgrade and whatnot. They, they do all that stuff for you. So you just basically just approve it. I'm going to choose the annual plan, but this is not where we're going to check out, okay? So we have to go back to our main page before we clicked on this little button right here and choose a plan from our logged in account. So we're going to hit get started on the $9 plan there. And we want 500 and we want to pay annually. So then we're going to hit update my plan. Fill in this information. And then I will meet you inside Active Campaign once I'm done. All right. And then when you're done, you'll see it'll say your current plan. Um, you can click up here and see your invoice, which will tell you what you paid. You can download the invoice, your usage. It'll tell you. At any time, you can see your usage, so how many contacts you have and how many users you, you've used. Users are just admins, people that you can log in and access your account and work on your thing. So if you have a VA, you're going to need more than one, obviously, which you have to have the plus plan for that. All right, so let's go over here in the sidebar and click on this top logo here. This will take you to your dashboard. All right, and inside your dashboard, you're going to get all kinds of data once we have some. Right now, we don't have any... Uh, customers or potential customers. No, nobody on any list. So this is why this everything looks blank. All right. And the first thing I want you to do is click on contacts and you'll get this little pop up on the side here. And we want to click on tags. We want to add a tag and you want to have some form of a pattern to this. And I'm going to set this up for you can math. So it looks like yours will look. All right. So the tags that we're going to use are first grade member. So M just stands for member for me. So I'm going to go first grade member, second grade member, third grade member, fourth grade member, fifth grade member. And then we're going to have a you can math all access membership. So if they get if they purchase a membership to all of them, they're going to get this tag. 
These are the only required ones that we're going to use for the time being. So hit add tags. And you'll notice they all pop up over here. All right, so these are the tags to allow access to the membership. Now let's add some that remove access to the membership. So if they cancel, we want certain tags added to them. The, the one that we're going to use is our you can math dash cancel, UCM dash cancel. Okay, so this tag is going to send out an automation that removes these tags. Okay, so if they cancel your membership, it's just we're just going to make it so it removes all of these tags if they have any of them. Now, if they're only a first grade member, it'll only remove the first grade one. Obviously, if they have access to all of them, then it'll remove this one. All right, so that's what this tag is going to do. It's going to it's going to start that automation that we're going to create that removes our membership tags. So now we have our membership tags, our cancellation tag, and then we will create all the tags to segment our list for our non-members, meaning are they just a first grade teacher that's on our email list that we're trying to get into our first grade curriculum, our first grade membership? Are they a K to six math teacher that needs everything that we're trying to get into our full access program? We can tag them for those things too. And we're gonna do that later on when we dive more into active campaign. But for today's purposes, we only need these. And then we are going to make these tags do certain things, but we're not going to do that right now because we're just trying to finalize setting up Thrivecart. So let's jump back over to Thrivecart. And now that we have our tag set up, let's hit add rule. And you should be under the behavior tag, as you can see right there. So for right now, I'm just going to show you how this operates. And then in the next lesson, we'll go into a little bit more detail. So when the main product is purchased, so when they join the membership level that we created, our $97 a month plan in active campaign, we are going to add them to an existing tag. And the tag we want to add them to is the you can math all membership. Don't check this box, hit save. And there you go. So now when they purchase this product that we just created, it's going to give them full access to our you can math site. All right, now we need to add a couple other things. So if the bump offer is purchased, okay, we would add the tag for whatever that bump product is that they purchased. And I'm going to set all this up in the next video. We're just going through things basic setup for right now. Okay, so you would want to do that also. So if they get a different download or a different access, so I did calls. So I what the way I would set this up is I would add a tag inside Active Campaign that says they paid for the order bump of some sort. So maybe just call it calls, right? Order bump calls, whatever you want to call the tag. And that way it'll start an automation that sends them an email that says, reply to this email with some good times or whatever, or send them a link to your Calendly so they can book the calls or however your system works, right? If they purchased a holiday pack, maybe add a tag that says holiday, holiday order bump purchased and your access would be the automation that you would create would send them an email to click a link to access to download the holiday package so it's not not real tricky it's kind of easy to use okay so for right now let's just continue on with this main one so let's disregard the order bump for now we'll do that in the next lesson all right so if a recurring payment is made we're good nothing should change if a recurring payment fails all right you can have the an automation set up so that it sent remember the dunning emails that we talked about so that it you send them an email through active campaign saying, Hey, your, your membership fail or your membership payment failed. Please make a payment. And you can send those out multiple times. All right. And then the other one we need, that we need to have is if, if a subscription is canceled, if a subscription is canceled in active campaign, we want to remove them from an existing tag, this one. Okay. And then in Kajabi, what we're going to make happen is when this tag is removed, it revokes access to your membership. All right. The other thing we want to do is we want to know that they canceled. So if their subscription is canceled, we want to add them to an existing tag, the cancel. And I do this so I have knowledge inside my active campaign account that I know who has been a member and canceled so that you can maybe go back to those people when you add new things, new courses, whatever, just to follow, keep following up with them. Because you'll see a lot of times, like, like we talked about earlier, like teachers don't just teach one class for their entire career, right? Sometimes they switch classes, sometimes they switch school districts and so on and so forth, right? 
So we need to know that, hey, this person was a member and they canceled and then we can figure out why they canceled. All right, save. And then you can set up your other Dunning emails too. So you can set up automations in ActiveCampaign. And once we go through that process, this will make a lot more sense. But you can also set up those Dunning emails in here so they come out from ActiveCampaign, okay, based on if their payments failed, their card needs to renew, whatever the reason is. And my advice would be definitely set these up because you want people to know in advance before their credit card expires when they got an upcoming payment, all those things. And then we're going to hit save and get URL. And we are not going to create a funnel with upsells, downsells, all that stuff. All right. So basically what we created is a way for somebody to purchase access to our membership paying $97 a month. And that is it. So it can be that simple. All right. And that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to actually create all of the membership levels and tags and everything for our you can math site. So you can see how to set it up if you want to do something more creative than just having one all access membership level.